welcome to yet another session of Talk the Talk, with, uh, brought to you by Data Steel's youth initiative, Valuable.com. Today we have with us a Jim Shetpur boy, Ayush Banerjee, who is this year's IC, ICSE Class 12 topper. Uh, hi, Ayush. Hello. Hi. So this year your ISE exam must have really surprised you. So uh, were you expecting to top? No, not at all. I was expecting a 92 to 95 percent and I was like, fine, it's not okay, then it's okay. But then when I got 99.25, when I came to know that, I was speechless, I was numb. Uh, there was no feeling at all. Okay, so, um, you know, girls always outperform boys when it comes to this. So how does it feel being finally a boy who's topped the exam and that at a national level? That must be, how does it feel? Uh, unreal, I would say. Um, every time, yes, when the ISC results would come out, my mom would used to uh, come to me and say, see, again a girl tops, and you, what are you doing? Now finally, yes, when I top it, I, I, I used to say, don't worry, one day, uh, there will be a day when I top and you're going to say, about, say the same thing about me. And when that day truly comes, you really are speechless. So, well, your wish came true, your dream came true. Yeah. So, uh, tell us, uh, what was your family's reaction when they realized the moment the exams, you know, the results were declared, that you actually talked? Uh, my dad, he couldn't believe it. So, he started calling up everybody and asking because the server, server was down. My mom, she started crying. And my brother, he could not understand what was going on. So I would say typical parent reaction. <laughs> yeah. Um, so well, of course, to get to this level of success, it obviously requires a lot of dedication and hard work. So the year of your ISC exam must have been very rigorous for you, you know, in terms of um, the sort of hours that you put in, managing your schedule. So could you tell us um, how you exactly maintained uh, your entire schedule? Run us through like a daily a day in Ayush Banerjee's life in standard in class 12. Okay, uh, you are correct when you said it was very rigorous in the last year. Every day you need to study, that's the most important thing I would say to everybody. Okay. It's not like you, you cannot go and give the 12th standard examinations, be it the school examinations or being it being them competitive examinations studying only the last no. month. Right. Uh, on the very first day if you study 2 to 3 hours and you are able to touch all the subjects then you start uh, then you start increasing the hours uh, progressively it's going to help you so and that was what i did and at the end of it i could, i can say well i got the fruits of yeah true um, so basically uh, when you talk about putting in hours on an average what what were the number of hours that you were studying you know to okay uh, if i would not go for coaching it would be around 9 to 10 hours and uh, wow. Yes. So and that's that's really nice, you know, to have that much of that to be able to crunch that much time to study. So yeah, you can. It's actually not a very big thing because in the morning you have twelve hours. Out of the twelve, you can study five, and in the evening another twelve, you can study five. It becomes ten. And if you are not, if uh, on the days when I went to coaching, I could just pull four, four and a half hours max. And this, I'm, I would not say this is my average. My average was a little lesser than this, but still, when I would concentrate very hard, yes, 10 hours would come up very easily. So 9 to 10 hours of dedicated study all throughout the year is your formula to your success? Yeah, yes. Okay. So how, to, okay, so even when you're able to like put in so many hours, how do you manage to retain the focus all year round? Because you know, for a lot of us and a lot of students out there and a lot of viewers watching this, mm -hmm. uh, who you're obviously an inspiration too and a mod role model too. What is that one thing that helped you retain your focus and stay really focused throughout the year? My teacher once told me that since all examinations are of three hours duration in, in India in the 12th standard, so it would be good 
to make sure that you study in one sitting for 3 hours 3 hours should be one minimum 3 hours should be the minimum time that you sit for sit to study so i used to study for 3 hours then i used to take a break i used to watch tv or used to eat something or the else or i don't know just yeah. dribble with my basketball at home after that then you get, get back to studying another 3 hours so if you do like that so 9 hours can come about in like three settings one during the morning one during the afternoons mm-hmm. and one during the night so 9 hours okay. so there is another tip for all you viewers out there to manage your time break your day and break whatever tasks that you have to do and segment and be able to accomplish it okay uh, obviously uh, other than you know the discipline and the regime of time management um yeah. who were your pillars of support like who who were your mentors in your pillars of support through this journey that you had uh my dad would be my first and my strongest pillar i would say because he was the one who is my role model i saw him i wanted to be like him and he has done a lot for me be it guiding me through my studies in the 12th standard or telling me what all things i needed to do extra or how to build my personality or something something or the other yeah. he has always told me my mother because of her constant encouragements like yo you got to study right now you got to study so when you keep yeah. on listening to that yes you study and uh, then i would have to go to my teachers my teachers at school yes they have been very very helpful every small thing small little thing they have helped me guided me and i can never never ever neglect that i can i've got to thank every single teacher for that and then my teachers who coached me for iit je and these other competitive examinations all of them have a very important have had a very important role to play in my life so obviously with the sort of support that you have what were the values that uh, they sort of you know encouraged you upon or what are the lines they asked you to take when you were uh the most important thing that they have stressed upon a long uh, many times is time management you know time management is one of those things which does not come to people naturally you have to be you have to call on your face once then you have to understand that yes time is very important you have to save time as much as possible the other one i would say is to not keep things till the last moment so these are the two most important values which i got from my seniors my teachers my parents everybody and your mentors basically and your pillars of support yes okay uh so besides um this uh thing which you've gone through right now the series of examinations how did you able to uh, how were you able to sort of make a balance between you know your social life your uh, hobbies your interests and studying obviously most important thing as i said when you take 3 hours of studying after 3 hours of studying there are you take a 2 hour gap and in those 2 hours you can go around with friends because even they are going to all more or less do the same thing i used to play with them um, sometimes i used to go on facebook or sometimes i used to like chat with them on, over the phone so that was much of my social life well actually do not have a, a very huge social life in the 11th and the 12th i would say but even then yes in those two hours you have to manage that there are certain right. sacrifices that need to be made so what were the other sacrifices that you made other than minimizing your social time uh i would say you have to stop going to facebook for a long time that's <laughs> one of the biggest distractions True. a student can get in the 11th and the 12th uh one would be that and the other is to you know balance time on things which you love to do i used to love play basketball and i used to play for 3 to 4 hours wow. but i then i realized that no you cannot do that you have to study yeah. as well because that's more important at that time so you have to balance balance all it. your activities and plan your day and schedule yourself True. All right. Where does an Ayush Banerjee go from here? Like, what are your plans for edu- your education and your career? Okay. Uh, presently, I have decided I'm I'm to go to IIT Kharagpur. I'm okay. going to take up chemical engineering like my dad, and from there, I have not yet actually decided on what to do after that. I might uh, do MBA from IIM and any of the three. 
top IIMs or I would go abroad, uh, clear mm, the GRE examination, something of that sort. So not e exactly decided after these four years. Let's see in the course okay. of time I will decide it. I'm sure. Uh, Ayush, I have one uh, question that I'd really like to ask, which a lot of users and uh, a lot of students and a lot of viewers right now are curious to know. What is this one word of advice that you have for students who are trying to balance studies, their hobbies and interests? Mm. I would say be able to know what is right, what is wrong for you at that given particular time. That's most important. Your own sense of decision making should be very good. Otherwise, everybody I would say is an equal student. Everybody is a good student. Everybody. The only difference comes about in your temperament, your understanding of what's important at that time and not being swayed away by your peers or friends. So. And uh, so in the end of the day, what can one do differently that, you know, can push one to go to the top or how you excel to the top, you know, uh, something more about that. Could you share with us? I actually never ever hope to come become topper. So I would not be able to tell you how to top exactly. But if you have to top, you have to succeed you have to put in more effort than the, than the normal gang of students who are studying. See, everybody is studying. Everybody knows everything. During the examination, those three hours matter. Yeah. So it is your temperament which helps. So, so basically, having a good temperament and loving to study, you should be able to love the examination you are giving. So that is what I would say gets you or fetches you more marks. And also yes. trying to understand the psychology of the teacher who is going to check. Uh, nobody wants to check a paper with extremely bad handwriting. Nobody understanding anything you have written. But if you if you in somehow be more organized about how you go ahead, it helps a lot. So it's that's your takeaway that you know love what you do and you will definitely excel in that. Yes. Okay. Well, um, so now, how have you been, uh, you know, trying to take things forward from here? Um, I'll go to IIT first, then from there I'll, I've decided I'm going to study and uh, pursue higher education. Uh, I have, I have a kind of a dream of going abroad. So let's see if I can make that true. Well, so that's what I'm going to look forward right now. Well, Ayush, thank you so much for your time. And we wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. And thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm sure you've been like a source of inspiration for all those who tuned in and watching into us. Um, for all your viewers out there, you can log into uh, Tata, to watch this further, you can log into valuable.com and uh, catch this episode of this hangout we've had our talker here. Thank you. Thanks, sir.